today we are going to try and make stained glass art for the first time. I'm so excited! After my boyfriend and his family taunted me with their new creations, I had to try this. So I partnered up with Firefly Hido to make it happen. And guess who is joining me? My best friend, Amy! Now you've probably seen stained glass before in like churches, windows, doors, decorations, and so much more. In my case, having my boyfriend and his family taught me with their amazing new skills and creations. So I had to give this a try. My only hesitation is I'm nervous about being cut by the glass, but I have a really good instructor who will teach me how to be safe. It's time to get the glass. Stacy is my crafting inspiration, all self-taught and the extremely organized owner of Firefly Hideout. Plus, she also has a puppy breeding business. <laughs> so cute! Okay, puppies and crafting together. This is my version of a spa day in a beautiful location. Like, wow! Okay. Go for it! Okay. Well, first of all, I'd like to welcome you to my studio. And my name is Stacy, so when you need anything, you can just call my name. Stacy! Um, first of all, we're just going to talk a little bit about safety with walking around in the area. You have chairs that you're sitting on, but when you're not using the chairs, we want you to push them back in because we just don't want trip hazards. So far, we have learned there are six steps to stained glass making. Number one, choosing what you're going to make and how you're going to do it. Number, Number two, two cutting. Three, it's a grind. Literally. Now that we know the steps, we have to choose a piece. Hmm, this could be hard. There's so many amazing ideas out there, but thankfully she has a list we can choose from for our first experience. Look at all these gorgeous pieces, wow. Because I'm on a time crunch here and only have six hours to learn the skill before I have to drive off, I have eliminated any projects that are more than six hours, leaving us with these glorious options. Hmm. Oh, they all look so good. I think Amy will love the bee because she's like the bee queen. Like, yes, Amy, yes. Plus, I know she'll love it because she was bugging Bear for his to keep it. And I think, I don't know, I'm like debating between these two. But this is like her newest one out and no one's done it before. So I'm going to attempt it head on. Let's do this. And hopefully I don't wreck it. We're cutting. You are going to make a big mess. <laughs> so this is a little workboard. This is what we kind of expect you to stay working on because you're using heat and you're cutting glass and we don't want to scratch up the tabletops and stuff like that. Um, so this is your workboard and then this here is your cutting grid. This is where you're going to be cutting your glass. Use all the little shards of pieces of glasses that fall down. will fall into the grids and then your hands, when you put your hands down, you're not putting your hands down on the glass, right? Oh, that's clever. Okay. So this is your cutter, and this is the most important tool that you will be using while you're doing your cutting. Now these guys have a little teeny weeny wheel that is in between. So tiny. Yeah. Like this. So when you're cutting glass, you want to be paying attention to this line because this line is where your cutting wheel is set. Um, when we're cutting, we cut at a 90 degree angle. We cut straight up and down. We don't cut to the right, we don't cut to the left because that will actually double your glass and make your glass cut on a weird angle. When you're cutting, you want to maintain a five to seven pounds of pressure. Over seven pounds, you're going to break your glass. Ooh, are these the practice pieces we're going to practice on? That's your practice pieces. I'm going to pass this scale around and I want you to get the feel of what five to ten pounds of pressure feels like. But leave your little rubber stick on. Whoa, that's a lot. Yep. <laughs> My last scale got cut in half. Oh, yeah, because it is actually. <laughs> yeah, <it's a> <laughs> 
keep in mind that as you're cutting, you're cutting if from you press, your body, away from your body, and you're maintaining that five to seven pounds pressure. Let's do this. There you go, you got the sound. There we go. I do have to say though, while we're doing this, we need to one feet on. Oh my goodness. I can't film and cut at the same time. My lines are way off. I absolutely love her true honesty. That will save me time. So thank you. Yes. After we score it, we're going to have to break it open using these three tools. Do 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 do. There we go. Woof woof. Okay. Did anyone else have a heart attack there? Now we're going to take hippo lips over here to open the score. Your head is up. And just hold it like this. And then a gentle squeeze. Ta-da. It's really easy. And I mean, if you. Let's try a smaller piece with his cousin, the alligator. Easier. Okay. You want to put your thumb yes. and your finger there? You want I'd call that a success. are an hour or two hours in and I'm just so focused I'm not even realizing the time here so what you guys are gonna do now is you're gonna get into the grinding process it's time for the grind I think I'm ready so you can kind of just push your tools and stuff to the sides you're gonna finish them off right now. yep <laughs> now you're just grinding up to the paper Pizza, and you wipe off all Ooh, of the it's sort of like scratching off a lottery ticket. <laughs> what I do is I will take my pans and I will put them on the line and then you will put this into place. Now if this doesn't slide into place, then you need to just go back to the grinder. No. I need a pin press though. Black, stained glass art because this is a process. Holy moly. Back to the grinder. Finally it fits. Yes! Um, okay, so now you're going to foil and I'm going to show you how to do this. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay. And so when you push your glass in, you want to feel like a little bit of a give. We've been foiled again. <laughs> push your glass into the foil, grab the foil, and then turn it. Oh. And then grab your foil. So then I always kind of stop and make sure that my tail is down. When you get to the corner like this, you release your pressure, go around, and then start again. The reason I'm saying that is when you get to a point, if you're continuing to push, you'll just push right through the copper. It's just a very soft metal. And it'll just so, cut it. So release your pressure at the corner, get around the corner, like that. Shut this off. Beautiful. And then burnish it. Seems simple enough. Okay, now that we have all the pieces done, we need to flex. Ooh, like this type of flex? No, no. So apparently, there's a stuff called flex we need to put before we solder. Without flex, nothing will stick to your copper. I never soldered in my life, and I'm so excited. This is actually one of the reasons I wanted to learn how to do stained glass, is because I wanted to learn not only how to properly cut glass, but how to solder. So this is so cool. So then what you're doing now is you are just tack soldering. All your pieces. So solder down, touch it. Solder down, touch it. Ah, so it's more just to connect it. Yeah. Down, 
touch, touch, squish. You lift this guy up. If you're doing this, so you melt this guy, and you forget to lift this up. It's gonna get stuck. Like a fly in a spider's web. Panic! Ah! It's gonna get stuck. Don't panic, do not lift it up. Just touch it with the heat. And, and done. This away. Yeah. Done, I can that's do that. that. Okay, so that's what, I mean, you, I only, you only have a few spots here, so. Question, how do you make like 3D pieces like the butterfly here with the angles? Well, it's kind of a holding in. Holding in. Holding in, making sure that you're soldering it in place. A lot of times, like you can take the butterfly, you can turn him upside down, and then you'll solder, like you'll hold him in place where you want him and keep the butterfly like this, and oh, then you'll solder gorgeous. right here. So then when you lift it up, it's connected. I get to go for the special trip Amy did. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, I'm excited. To the back room we go. <laughs> we'll see if I return. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here's so gorgeous back there. We'll see. <laughs> Hi, puppy. Oh, look at all this gorgeous. Like, I love the setup you have. Like, it's so organized. So, Ooh. This is your cleaning process now. Flip it over on me. All right. You want to do this? You just take this and you scrub it and you really well. Scrub it. Done. I can do that. I might have to drop the camera. That's okay. We'll be back. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. Is it pretty? Yeah, that's great. Oh, I love it so much. So cool. And the colors on it, it's just like, yes, yes, yes. I just can't thank Stacy enough for teaching us this new skill, allowing us to film in her studio, and just having so much fun. Let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see next. And follow for more. Doo -doo -doo.